Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to the coffee bar. Got something special today. I was actually walking through a a local big box store. Don't really don't want to say the name, Walmart. Um, this caught my attention. Just just the packaging alone caught my attention. Now, some of you may have seen this before. I have not seen this. Uh, this is excuse my butchering of this name, but uh, I believe it is Medaglia Doro. Now that's Italian. This is an Italian espresso. It was actually relatively cheap. I found it. I think it was four dollars and ninety-seven cents Canadian. And this is actually roasted by Roland Coffee Roasters out of Miami, Florida. Now I tried to find Roland's website, Roland Coffee Roasters website. Couldn't find it. Found a LinkedIn account, but couldn't find anything about that. So what I did was looked up the the actual website. Let's see what we have here. Again, this is the Espresso 100% Arabica Cafe Espresso Ground Coffee. So I paid, I think it was $4.97, like I said, for 283 grams. Not sure why it's 283, not 285 or 300. Nevertheless, let's see what we got here. Hmm. That actually smells pretty good. I think I say that on all of them, don't I? Alright, so you guys all know how this goes. This is like a powder. Very, very fine grind. Very fine. Of course, it's espresso. I get that. But the problem I might have is my coffee machine does not like fine grind. I mean fine grind. It seems to want to back the water up and stop the machine. But we're going to give this a shot. That's like powder. All right, folks, as usual, we're going to try it black. Then we're going to try it with milk. Hopefully my coffee maker will make it. Let's see what happens. While that's brewing, let's have a look at the company. Medaglia Duro Coffee Espresso. So on their website it says the Americans have been enjoying Medaglia Duro coffee since 1924. And I, I apologize for butchering that. Coffee since 1924. And today we proudly continue the tradition of Italian style espresso. Ever wonder where this delicious treat comes from? Dive into the rich history and explore the heritage of Italian espresso. I think we're diving in. Actually, my coffee maker's making it here. So, if we do a little history on the espresso, it says here, this is still on their website here, they're claiming that uh, the espresso dates back to Turkey at 1475. That's a couple years ago. It says here by... The late 13th century Arabian men roasted and ground coffee before brewing it for medicinal purposes for their wives. In the 15th and 16th centuries, extensive coffee cultivation began in the Yemen region of Arabia and soon throughout the Arabian Peninsula into Turkey. There, the world's first coffee shop opened in 1475. Okay, I stand corrected. Coffee shop opened, first coffee shop opened in 1475 in Turkey. All right, guys, as usual, we're gonna, we talk a little bit about where the coffee comes from. In this case, it's Italy. So, fun facts about Italy. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is according to list25.com. Uh, number 25 on their list, though, is the mafia accounts for 7% of Italy's GDP. 7%. Well, the other thing I didn't know is Italy has the 8th largest economy in the world. <laughs> Some of my friends might like this one here. The, Itali the Italian traffic police have been known to use Lamborghinis. Sign me up. 
I uh, some I didn't know. In Venice, all the gondolas are require legally required to be painted black. Not quite sure why that is. On the here's a weird one. On the topic of legal requirements, apparently in Milan you are obligated to constantly smile by law. As for whether anyone actually cares, is another topic. Legally required to smile by law. Oh, here's something I didn't know. In Italy, pepperoni refers to bell peppers. Didn't know that. There is no Italian sausage that goes by that name. Pepperoni, I didn't know. Just, here, it's, here when you want a pepperoni, you just get a pepperoni. Or if you want a bell pepper, you get a bell pepper. I think the coffee's done back there. The tomatoes in Italy actually came from America and were introduced to Italy in the 1500s. We have one more here. Oh, my wife would love this one. Italy is the largest producer of wine in the world. I almost think, well, I might have thought France was the largest producer. Anyway, it's done. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm smelling. I can certainly smell the chocolate in here, but I can't smell it in here. Oh, that's, oh, that's strong. That is strong. Let's see what we got now. No change. Well, maybe I maybe I really haven't had espresso before, or this is just awfully strong, strong coffee. It tastes good. Maybe I just haven't had a true espresso before, but uh, I don't think I have. This is strong. Even with the milk, it's strong. The, the interesting thing is, is I can now taste, after a few seconds of drinking it, everything that I smelled in here. So, if you need something to kick yourself in the morning to get you moving whew, that is gonna be it anyway that's all I got for today's video remember what I like to say the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it see you all in the next one later Meta Medaglia Doro. Taste everything within the coffee now that's. Maybe I just haven't had a true espresso before, but uh, this is strong. Now, it's been a couple of.